What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm showing you how to zoom in and out in Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro opened up and I just have a video of FIFA 17 the journey before you actually start. And we're going to be zooming in. I'm going to be showing you two different ways. One where you are just zoomed in instantly and one where you can smoothly zoom into something. So let's get into it. The first way I want to show you is how to instantly zoom into something. So we're going to find a part and I'm going to wait for it to transition which is right there. And now we need the razor tool. You can press C on your keyboard to bring it up or you can come to the side and select the razor tool. We're going to split it right here and then we're going to come across however long we want it to freeze. And let's pick there. I'm now going to use the razor tool again to split it here and we can come back to the selection tool. Now this part in the middle is where we are going to have it instantly zoomed into something. So it's going to be normal and then instantly zoomed in and then it's going to go back to normal again. So we're going to select the clip then we need to come up here to motion and just select this. So this is what we're going to get and we're going to be using scale and all we're going to do is bring it up and it's going to zoom into a certain area. Yes it's going to become distorted, you will notice the further you go in the more distorted it will be but if this is from your own DSLR, if you have a good one it won't be as blurry. Now from there we need to position it. We can come up here to position and we need to move this just like this and let's say we want to zoom into the TV like that. So you just drag it to the side and I'm going to scale it in a bit more like that. So now we have the TV and the picture. So let's play this from here. So it's normal and when it transitions it's going to be zoomed into the TV. Just like that. And that is how simple it is to do the zooming in and you can see it goes back to normal. And the next way I'm going to be showing you is how to make it slowly zoom in and then zoom out as well. I'm going to do it on the exact same uh, uh, part I just showed you. I just need to put it back to normal first. Quick way to put it back to normal as you can see on the side it says reset parameter and reset parameter for the scale. Everything's now back to normal. Now doing this effect will involve some keyframing. So on position and scale we're going to toggle the animation buttons here. And this is what we should get. These two diamonds are our, our keyframes. So at the moment, it's just going to come in. It's going to hold until there. And we're going to slowly make it zoom into the TVs from here, about there. And again, it's the same thing. We're going to use the scale. And then we need to use the position from here, like that. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. There we go. And now, of course, we want the frame to hold a bit because otherwise it's just going to be zooming in and then zooming straight out. So I'll first of all show you that. We can just copy these keyframes here. So we just highlight it by left clicking and dragging. Press Ctrl C and now I'm going to press Ctrl V and it's pasted in. So this is what's going to happen. It's going to come in and it's just going to go boom straight back out. So we want it to hold. So we can keep this last keyframe we just created and we can drag it to the side like this. We have to be aware that we don't go off screen uh, past this part because of course we're working with this individual clip and we're not working with this one. So we're going to keep it there and then we're going to come here and we're going to copy the one where it zoomed in, these keyframes here. And then we're going to come across to maybe about here so it's going to hold and then press Control V. Now if we play this through it's going to be zooming in, it's going to hold on the TV and the picture and then it's going to zoom out. So let's play this. So it zooms in, it's going to hold and then starts to zoom back out. And that is how simple it is to do and just remember if you want it to hold you will need to paste the exact same keyframes in the middle. And the gap you're seeing in between this is how long it will hold and the gap you're seeing on the sides this is how quick it's going to zoom in and zoom out. So it's completely up to you how quick you want that to happen. But that is it for this video. Like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.